Welcome back to my channel. This is Sonit from Ticketrickle where I bring you the latest tech updates that are required for your business as well as for your online teaching. Now today I am going to show you how to make PDF and worksheets editable online using Google Slides. Now this is pretty simple but then you need to follow each and every step that I will show you so that you know you can use it for you know different purposes such as handing over these worksheets to your students online or even you know you're joining a meeting and then you want your participants to fill in some kind of data that you would require to collect from them so let's jump into our laptop where i take you step by step through this process okay so uh, this is the pdf uh, sample that we will use today so i uh, downloaded it from education.com so uh, that's a really nice site so in case you guys uh, want to use uh, some of the worksheets you can definitely go there and check some and you can also purchase if you would like now uh, for the educational purpose so what we do is uh, I open this uh, and I open this uh, through one of the open source uh, softwares that you might be knowing that I have uh, you know, created videos on that is called WPS Office. So uh, the PDF is opened here and can uh, directly create an image with the click of a button as you know that from PDF to picture but I will not do that because I know that most of you would not have this open source uh, software in your system so the other option is you know you size it you uh, just zoom uh, out and you create a, a size uh, most appropriate as you can do just to a selection and from here what you do is uh, you go to the search of windows and then uh, you uh, take out the snipping tool so what the snipping tool does is uh, you know it actually selects a snip and then you can create uh, your image out of that selected area so click on the new and then from here what i would do is i would just select try to select this entire area and once i selected it uh, it gives me this window from where if I click on file and I do save as it allows me to save this as one of the options so what I would do here is I would come to one of the areas that I would want and like I have uh, like lots of uh, you know, folders here so let me take uh, one of the folders here and and then maybe I name this as a uh, grade 2 multiplication so I would save there and now what I do is uh, my first job is done so next what I need to do is I need to open my Google Drive uh, and the way I do that is I come to Google and then from the Google Apps I select uh, the Google Drive so once you are in Google Drive then uh, you open this and you come right below and you find Google Slides here so click on Google Slides and then what you would want to do here is uh, you select a blank presentation so click on the blank presentation which gives you this page so let me close this out uh, okay so now this is your uh, first presentation so what you would need to do here is uh, you need to get rid of these text boxes so I click delete and now you have this uh, now this this is for your normal presentations but uh, since this is a PDF uh, which is made out of a page so when you take a printout or when you give it out to your students uh, then you would like to have it in a page format right so what you would want to do here is uh, you would need to change the slide size so the way you do that is you come to file and right below you would see page setup so click on that page setup where you get the aspect ratios here so click on the custom and here uh, you would need to put the size of the page that you would want so i would give 8.5 to 11 inches and then click on apply so this gives me the page now the next task is to bring that pdf 
are the image of that PDF that we just did in the first step here. So uh, you might want to, you know, go from insert and then do the image upload from here. But what that would do is, you know, if you do that, then the image that would come here, you can move it around. Right. So now that is not your objective. So you would have to fix that and you would need to lock it. The way you can lock it is you, you can see a place here called background. So click on background and then you can choose the image from here. So you do the upload or you can do the drag as well from here. So click the browse and then you select your image that you just created. Now once it is done, you would see that it almost takes up the entire page. So our selection was good. So this comes up here. Now the next step is like this here from here you can see that I'm trying to move this but it will not move because it is locked and because the image gets as the background. So this is the background that you have created. Now in background you could have also added some colors or something other themes there. So now that is something that I would not show as part of this uh, tutorial. So I'm not giving any colors or something. So what I would like to now do is I would now want to have these as editable so that the students or for that matter the other people with whom you would like to share this on the Google Classroom gets to have that edited. Now you can use this even for your meetings or something like who all attended the meetings or you would like uh, maybe some review comments or something like that right. So in those cases as well this is really helpful. Uh, so now what you would do is you see a tool here that is text box. So click that text box and you would need to add here the text boxes. Now this is the place where you would have the students or for that matter the other people uh, with whom you would like to share this as editable. Now here in this text box if you see uh, you can have the color changed you know the text color so you can change the text color to whatever you would want so you can have it as green so if you have it as green and then you can put it as name here so the text comes in green color so once you have this you can uh, select this and do a control C and then you can do a control V which actually makes another set of another text box for you so you can have this as your date field right now uh, in this way you can have all the text boxes filled the other uh, important thing that I would like to show here is that in case you would like a bigger text box here and you wouldn't want something here so you can have this text box put it here now still you would see the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, right? These images are still coming up. So now uh, if you would like to have this as white, so I would go to fill color here and then from here I would select the theme color as white. It hides the text that was there before, right? Now this is again uh, editable so you can go on and write your text like this. box so this is just for sample uh, so you can have this provided here and you don't do need to do anything to save this because Google actually does that for you now the only step that is right now remaining is like uh, you would now need to go to classroom and then I will show you from a classroom how would you uh, want to have this uh, sheet that you created shared with your students so I come to my drive and uh, from there from the Google Apps I would go to classroom I click on classroom so once I'm in classroom I have already uh, a class created so I click on the class and then I go to classwork because I would want to create an assignment so from here uh, you would like to create an assignment so I click on assignment and then you give your own title so I give 
here a test so i wouldn't give a detailed instruction so you can you can do it on your own so i would just give maybe a sample here and the step here which i would like to show here is uh, you click on add and then from here since that particular uh, pdf was uh, saved in your google drive so you would want to click google drive and then you would want to have this selected and added and to change this uh, name you can just click here where it says untitled presentation and you can give a name of the worksheet so you can say worksheet 2 and just click somewhere so it saves as worksheet 2 now uh, there are a couple of things here which is very important that uh, you know if this is something that you would want to share with all of the people with whom you want to share and you don't want your main uh, sheet to get updated all the time with different data then the option is that you select make a copy for each student so what it does is it creates different copies for each of the students so that they would do the updates and then they can uh, have it handed over but that is a collaboration kind of an activity where you want one sheet to be there and all the participants to contribute there then definitely you would not use this uh, you would go for the students can edit the file so uh, once you uh, select this option you click on assign and then it assigns to all students that you have in your classroom now there are a lot of videos that i have on google classroom as well as google meet so in case you were interested you can go ahead and check the videos that are popping up right now and i would really appreciate if you can give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also you know share this with whoever is looking for this solution till the next time bye bye